Hey everybody, welcome back to Chris's Trains and Things. Today, we are gonna check out this giant purple box behind me, and more specifically, what's in it. Let's check it out right here. So this is an engine that I've wanted to add to my collection for a very long time. In fact, it's, it's probably one of those white whale engines that we talk about. Now, almost a year ago, I was able to acquire my white whale engine, which was the Erie 0880 Angus. Totally unique locomotive. It's an MTH model with ProtoSound 3. It's the only ProtoSound 3 steam engine that I have in my collection. And ever since then, I've wanted to add something that's just a little bit bigger and a little bit funkier and a little bit crazier. And it's right here in this box. And judging by the title of this store of this video, you might already know what it is. But I am excited to finally welcome the Erie Triplex, the 28882 to the collection. Let's bring it around and check it out. So here it is. So glad to have this as part of my collection. So this is an MTH Premier locomotive. It features PS3 or ProtoSound 3. So that means you can use the MTH DCS system with it. It can also work with their Wi-Fi module as well. So it is a really fun locomotive. And just like everything MTH, it's just extremely detailed. And it's got that beautiful Russian iron boiler, which matches the Angus. So it's kind of like Big Brother has finally arrived here on the layout. Let's dive in and get a closer look at this and learn about the model and the prototype. And of course, we're gonna send it around the layout. All right, so as I mentioned, it's been almost exactly a year since I had the Angus join my fleet. And now I'm fortunate enough to have the Big Brother or the Triplex join my fleet. Now this model itself was made by MTH in 2015 and it's part of their premier line. It was cataloged with four road numbers, two of which were the Russian Iron Blue that you see here and the other two had black boilers. Now, the prototype was similar to the Angus in, in that it was more of a failure than a success. Built by Baldwin Locomotive Works, the Triplex was something new. They basically wanted to go as big uh, as possible, which is why they developed this 28882 locomotive. So we've got two wheels up front, eight drive wheels, eight drive wheels, eight drive wheels under the tender, and a two-wheel trailing truck at the very end of the tender there. Now, why did they need to do this? Well, the Erie had some pretty steep grades, and the idea was for this train, this locomotive here, to run uh, the Gulf Summit or Susquehanna Hill, which is really where they were found, and they were really designated for pusher or helper service along those lines. They really couldn't move all that quickly and were not all that efficient on the main line because of speed restrictions. They were built between 1914 and 1916. The first type was designated the P1, and it could actually pull up to 650 freight cars, which is just an absolutely immense load, even for today's standards. These engines were reserved for pusher service, as I mentioned, on those steep grades when a helper engine was needed. They were powerful but slow, so uh, unfortunately, due to their lack of success, all three that were built for the Erie were scrapped in 1933. Now, I should mention there was a larger triplex developed. There was a 28884 developed for the Virginian. Uh, that was also a failure as well. Baldwin did have plans for a quadplex and some uh, dreams of going even larger, but those things never came to fruition. Now, these things, similar to the Angus, have these massive cylinders up front here. And then same here for the second set of cylinders, or the second pair of cylinders, and then the third. Now, these recycled exhausts, so we would have high pressure for these cylinders up front, and then the exhaust steam would be piped either to the second pair of cylinders from one of these, or the opposite front cylinder would go to the rear set of cylinders. So the Second and third pairs of cylinders were low pressure cylinders and the front were the high pressure cylinders. Now the exhausts from these would then come out of the pipe you see at the back of the tender here. Similar to the Angus, the firebox on this engine is quite large. These eerie anthracite burners, they had two doors in the firebox to eliminate any blind spots in the corners because of the way the anthracite burns, which is always a nice little fun fact. Now, because of the 
three sets of eight drive wheels. These things had a tractive power estimate of around 160,000 pounds, which is insane. Just for reference, the Union Pacific Big Boy produced about 135,000 pounds of tractive effort. So quite, uh, quite an increase from that. Now, the version that we see here is MT has MTH's Proto 3 technology. Now, even though this was used for pusher service, there is no proto coupler up front, similar to the Angus. There is a scale coupler up front. We have a electro proto coupler in the back. Now, the stack steam is what we would expect from MTH. We also have steam that comes out of the rear exhaust down there. There is no whistle steam on this model because it was developed before MTH put it, started putting whistle steam into their locomotives. However, I do have some plans to possibly get that added. Getting a little bit of a closer view here, you can see there are wires for the the whistle there as well as the bell. So it's it's really got a lot of add-on detailing. If we come up front, you'll see some air pump detailing, handrails, and we got some LED lights up front. This engine comes in at just over 27 inches in length and does require 072 curves, as I'm sure you could imagine because of those three sets of eight drive wheels. I'm so happy to have this finally join my collection. And specifically, it's younger brother, the Angus. It's really neat to have both of these together. Now, I look forward to seeing what types of future model of triplexes we see in the future in the three rail model railroading world. But for now, I'm going to sit back and relax and I'm going to enjoy this model here, this Proto 3 model on my layout as part of my collection. This is cab number 5016, and it's time for us to send her around the layout. Ready for another pickup?
Well, Leroy, you ready for another pickup? Sure, what's next? I'm headed to the line side phone to find out. to bring a string of empty cars back downhill. Hey, where are the conductor and brakeman? Don't worry, Leroy. The crew will be waiting for us. Hmm, good. I see the caboose is already attached to the string of cars. Hey, it looks like we need to get cold and water before heading back down. All right, let's get that tank filled and get going. Swing that spout over. Okay, that'll do it.